What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Porkchop here and I'm coming at you with another video. A rant, a rave, a talk, a discussion, a ramble about America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. Before I get started on this crap bag of wonderment, uh, if you guys could please go ahead, hit that subscribe button to become a piglet if you haven't already. Also turn that bell notification on that we are notified every single time I upload a video. And lastly, got two spots still open for the Piglet Army Fantasy Football League. One of these two spots could be your spot to win the trophy at the end of the season. So there you go. It's a free league. You don't have to worry about costs or anything. It's free and you get a trophy at the end of the year if you win. One trophy for the winner and the winner only. So all right guys, if you're interested in that, please just comment that you're interested and I will send you that information down in the comments. So all right. So been an interesting few days inside the uh, Cowboys camp and by interesting I mean that the Cowboys hold on sorry a little shaky here the Cowboys have submitted allegedly a contract to Dak Prescott for 30 million dollars a year for the next I, don't, I can't remember if it was I think it was five years if I were the Cowboys though a little side note if I were the Cowboys I would do a five like what we did with Tank five years and it's pretty much a three-year contract for five years, so you have three years to prove yourself, and if you don't prove yourself, out the door you go, and we don't have to worry about paying you. So, 30 million for five years, that's a $150 million contract, and uh, Dak allegedly turned it down and said that he wanted 40 million for five years. So that is a $200 million contract. Um, in all honesty, if he wants $40 million, I would, I would probably go with another option um, if, if, if he's not biting at all. Uh, highest I could probably go is like 35. But here I am uh, a few months ago said that uh, the most I'd pay him is 25 to 27. And now the dude wants 30. Uh, or he wants 40 and rejected a 30 and look at I'm saying 30 to 35 so I mean it's ridiculous it, it's it's a business I know that it's a business move um, I don't know if him and his agent were talking and the agent was like no 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 you got to compare yourself to these quarterbacks and and uh, the, your playoff success versus theirs and your division uh, championships versus theirs and everything like that. But the dude is, I think he's only lost to the Eagles once since he's been here. And uh, he's done good against the Redskins and I think the worst record he has, I think is against the Giants. But I could be mistaken, that's just the top of my head, so don't take that to heart. Don't take that statistically, I just believe that that is what the, uh, the going rate is, is that he uh, has only lost once to the, the Eagles and then everybody else is kind of just a mixed bag. But again, I don't know if that's true or not. I just remember reading that in an article somewhere. So what that means is Dak is saying, I am the, the answer for this team because look at my divisional records I actually have playoff experience I have a couple of playoff victories under my belt and uh, your little uh, poster boy Tony Romo has only had two playoff victories and I've already matched him so that's what it's looking like um, and I think that he's using that as leverage because we've had about the same amount of success as Tony Romo however he's done it quicker than Tony Romo did and uh, Tony Romo was here for a decade plus and Dak's only been here for three years and we've already got two playoff victories and more playoff I think appearances under Dak um, again just top of my head could be mistaken and I, I believe that's his leverage I believe that's what he, he is using to keep his head above water when it comes to the 30 million. He's like, mm, how about 40, you know, Let's bring it up a little bit. But the problem I have with these giant contracts for quarterbacks, running backs, whatever, is there are 52 other men on that roster. It's not just you out there throwing the ball to yourself. It's not just you getting picks 
sacking the other quarterback, not kicking field goals, extra points, punting. There are 52 other men on every single NFL roster. And what that means is you wanting a $200 million contract is impeding the Cowboys and their ability to re-sign those other 52 men of, on the roster should they need to be re-signed. Uh, we got Tank locked up, that's great, um, but unfortunately we have multiple players that deserve a lot of money that are coming up on their contract. Zeke is holding out until he gets his contract and um, we will wait and see how the Cowboys will do without him should that be the case with the running back by committee I, I presume is what is going to happen and uh, Amari Cooper who is actually being kind of a cool guy about everything because he uh, isn't holding out he isn't complaining about uh, wanting to get paid like oh look at this wide receiver look at Thomas in uh, New Orleans look at, his, look at his contract and I want the exact same as his you know, he's not doing that. He's kind of keeping his mouth shut. He's injured right now. Uh, he has plantar fasciitis. Fel I can't even say it. Medical term. He has a medical term. Uh, plantar fasciitis. I can't remember. Planter's foot. That's, that's a better term for it. Planter's foot. And uh, that might impede him getting the max that he wants because that's something that, that could be a problem going forward. Uh, I know that uh, Antonio Brown is also suffering right now from uh, foot problems, and uh, he also is suffering from uh, helmet problems because he wants his specific helmet, and the NFL was like, you're breaching your contract if you don't wear the helmet we tell you to. So anyway, that's a little side note. Back to Dak. I'm indifferent because I don't know if this is true or not. This is all hearsay. This is all he said, she said, we said, they said. And, you know, when a a uh, insider for the Dallas Cowboys is tweeting that Dak rejected a 30 and he wants a 40, and then there's also other people that are tweeting, no, the, the 40 didn't happen. It, it, it's it's here. It's uh, It hasn't happened yet. Uh, they're still discussing the 30, and there's still negotiations going on. Um, I don't know who to believe. You can choose to believe who you want to believe, but right now I think I'm going to just chill and just wait a few more days until it's like an official announcement that Dak Prescott has officially rejected a 30 and he wants a $40 million a year contract. Which, $40 million, I mean, good gosh. Again, 52 other men on the roster. If I could, if Jerry Jones could pay $40 million a year to each player on that team, I bet he would. But it's not the case. It's not Madden. You can't take over as an owner and uh, get rid of the salary cap as well as go into the settings and uh, in $5 million increments just jack up your your value. You can't do that. that that's not how that works. I wish that's how that works, but uh, it doesn't. So... And in all honesty, um, I, I, I thought 30 was too steep. I know a lot of people are, you know, in the comments or are, are, are kind of talking crap. Not just the comments, just, you know, all over the freaking social media accounts and everything that um, Dak Prescott deserves more than the, the 25 to 27 million that I thought he was worth. And I... Um, I just think that he's asking too much. And there are going to be two sides to this coin. The one side of the first side of the coin is Dak takes the 30 million, he signs the contract, he is the Cowboys answer for an extended period of time, and he stays with us and hopefully can win at least one Super Bowl with us before he calls it quits. Uh, the other side of that coin is he wants the $40 million. Jerry's not ponying up the money, so that means we're either going to trade him, we're going to, he's going to leave on his own terms, we're going to release him, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but, I mean, I, I'm hoping for the first side, let's just say that. Um, Dak is good, Dak is better than Carson Wentz in my opinion. And I think that he 
like Joy Taylor was saying on uh, Maybe I'm Crazy, her podcast is, I believe I, I agree with her. I think Dak is going to have a better career than Carson Wentz, and that is specifically because Dak doesn't have injury problems. Carson Wentz does, and at the end of the day, the downs you play, everything like that. This guy's flashing me up front, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> you guys can see like a, a, a flash of light. It's this guy's license plate. It's like metallic. But anyway, oh good gosh. But anyway, I I want to re-sign all three of them. And uh, like I said, my birthday wish is come that Sunday of week one, I want all 53 men that are healthy and want to be there and deserve to be there to be healthy and to suit up so we can beat the crap out of the stinking Giants, the New York stinking Giants, the New York football Giants. Because when it comes down to it, you, you got to be here and you want to be here and you deserve to be here. It's, it's all wrapped in the same equation. And I just, ugh. I'm rambling at this point. I'm, I'm going on a tangent at this point because this is something I'm really passionate about. This is something I hope gets resolved. And it's something that I hope isn't true that, uh, like I said, 25 to 27 million and it's 30 and then he's saying no to the 30 and he wants a 40 it's just it's mind-boggling it, it, it ultimately is mind-boggling and a resolution could be hopefully obtainable before the start of the season and if not then um, I guess we're just gonna have a uh, pissy running back and a pissy quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys this next season um, because I hope that Zeke doesn't do a Le'Veon Bell and sits out the entire year. And I hope that Dak isn't, you know, going to tank on purpose or go out there and have, like, the best. I hope he, okay, I hope he has the best season of his career. But I hope he doesn't use that as another leverage to go in there and be like, okay, now I want $50 million a year. I know earlier I said this isn't Madden, but I went on Madden and I offered him the contract that I thought was fair and uh, negotiable I think I think he said yes to a 20 I think it was like a 28 million dollar contract I think is, is what Dak in Madden 20 said yes to but real life Dak not so much apparently he doesn't even want a 30 so anyway it's all who you believe it's all you know just people just talking crap in the media because of who they are and because of the star on the side of their helmet if this were a buffalo bills quarterback controversy nobody would bat an eye if this were a i don't know let's say uh, i don't know another like cincinnati Bengals quarterback controversy nobody would care but since it has the star on the helmet people care if it has the star on the helmet people care if it has a patriot on the side of the helmet people care if there's a handful of teams that people just hone in on but there's other teams that don't I, it's not fair i know but that's just football but anyway guys i'm gonna get out of here i've rambled too long over this and i uh, hope you guys will uh tell me your two cents and uh, it's free down there in the comments section if you guys want to tell me if you think dak deserves the 40 million dollars a year how much do you think he deserves i know i've said this before uh the 25 to 27 range is what i wanted to pay him but it's it, i don't you don't always get what you want and uh clearly uh dag doesn't want it either so i'm gonna get out of here like i said please leave me your comments please become a piglet by subscribing to the channel please turn that bell notification on to get notified every single time i upload a video and also please two spots open well, your spot could be a champion by the end of the football season. It's up to you. So if you're interested, just let me know. And thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little pig. Let's call him Pork Chop. Loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys. And I'll see y'all next time. Say it with me, everybody. How about them cowboys? Bye, guys.